Hello, so I am Chris. I am a final year international business management student. Um, I've done a placement at Unilever as a global assistant brand manager working on the marketing side, so global marketing. And my name is Lydia and I'm looking to do a placement in my third year. I'm currently a first year on the business management course. So Chris, what was your first experience like on placement year? Um, so when I was actually applying to placements, um, it was a very long process. Um, so I started around about September um, and I'd actually made my CV uh, up to scratch almost um, before I started my second year with the help of the Employability Hub and various employability services that you have available to you at the Migrant School. Um, I applied to roughly around I think 25 to 30 different placements um, but I was mainly focused on um, marketing and sort of an international side to marketing um, that I was most interested in. Uh, so, building on that, what kind of support did you receive from the Employability Hub specifically? Yes, so um, I actually accessed quite a few different resources. Um, for me, the main thing was actually the resume. Um, I wasn't applying to many roles that had cover letters, although I do have experience applying to roles with cover letters as well. Um, so I had my CV checked by them, and I think we went through a few different rounds of revisions of CVs. Um, basically making sure that it was AI compatible, uh, but also that it involved all the relevant experience that I had um, as well. So that's basically the, most of the services I, I accessed. The other, the other services I accessed were um, mainly around doing the um, psychometric testing and also around um, a little bit of interview skills, but not that much of that. Perfect. And can you tell me about the role, your specific role in the company and what tasks you were obliged to do in that role? Yeah, so um, as a Global Assistant Marketing Manager, um, I worked in the Home Care Division. So as I mentioned before, I did Global Marketing. And essentially, um, my main scope of role um, was to lead a, um, essentially, the innovation and renovation projects of a core product. Um, so these were dishwasher tablets. Um, so I was working on a, a brand called Sun. Um, so Unilever owns lots and lots of very, very big brands. Um, but also owned slightly smaller brands as well. Um, and I was working on slightly smaller brands, so I had a little bit of a smaller team, um, which was a really interesting experience. Um, so day to day, I would be leading this project. I was in charge of a cross-functional team of around 30 people um, day to day. And whilst I didn't directly manage them myself, I was holding them accountable for the actions they needed to take to be able to land this project on time. Alongside this, I was actually the project manager for the same project. Um, so I led the network and I essentially made sure that everything went on time and that we would be meeting the deadlines for the project or you know, the essentially main checkpoints for the project. Um, or indeed, if we weren't, we would have to change the scope of the project. Um, so that was the main thing that I ran. Um, the second thing that I really was pretty heavily involved in and helped lead was the overall category strategy of the, um, well, the category basically of dishwashing. Um, and so looking at our competitors, doing financial analysis on our competitors as well, as well as our own brands. Um, I did quite a bit of supply side stuff as well, so what does our supply chain look like and you know, where could we find any, efficient, any efficiencies in it. Um, but also um, looking at if our forecasted growth within the brand of sales um, lined up with that supply chain as well. Um, so that was one of the things that I did and sort of attached to that was uh, a piece I did on um, communications. So I worked a little bit on television commercial that we did um, and also um, on some TikTok strategy. Um, so I can't say any exact numbers um, but the TikTok strategy has over 30 million um, views on TikTok um, and yeah alongside this for most of the projects I ran actually um, I also led some of the finance stuff as well. Um, so I was working with you know a, around a million euros of budget um, which was fairly significant and the projects that I ran ended up um, getting, getting an incremental turnover, so additional turnover after it was launched um, of uh, a few, few hundred million euros. Um, so yeah, really, really big projects and really exciting impact to change. Um, and I think one of the main things that made me most fulfilled on my placement um, that really pushed me forwards was the ability to basically work on this project where we were removing the plastic bags from the inside of our product. Um, so. Through helping that project land, I saved hundreds of thousands of plastic bags going into the waste stream. Um, so that was one of the things that was really fulfilling for me on placement. Wow, it sounds like you were really heavily involved. <laughs> so how did you put the knowledge that you learn, um, what you study, into practice in the workplace? So 
one of the main things that I obviously was working on was marketing. Uh, and there's a separate video about this, but um, essentially I did a study abroad as well as um, a placement. So my second year I went to Miami, Florida, uh, to Florida International University. So I took quite a lot of really specific marketing modules. Um, and again, if I was at Sheffield, I would have really honed in and directed my modules towards um, marketing. The really valuable things that I learned initially was in my first year, I had a part-time job working in sales and marketing, and that sort of guided me towards doing um, sort of global marketing in an international perspective. Um, but in my second year, I did a module called um, International Marketing Strategy. I did a module called Advanced Marketing Analytics. Um, and I did um, advanced business negotiations, or I think it was international business negotiations. Um, so those gave me some really, really useful skills that I essentially used on placement, and also I think partially was what helped me to get that placement. Lovely. Um, can you tell me about any highlights that you have from your placement year? So we touched on it slightly. Uh, again, the results of my, the projects that I ran were fairly significant. Uh, and I'm actually very, very proud of what I was able to do. Um, and being able to say that to interviews is really, really useful. Um, in terms of like, the social highlights, I'd say we had our Christmas um, sort of party at the Tate Modern in London. Um, and our, um, essentially our office um, was in central London. So we could have views of the London Eye, we had views of Tower Bridge, um, and also as a benefit, we had uh, free Ben and Jerry's and Magnum ice creams and Wall's ice creams at lunch. So maybe you have one or two uh, at your lunch break. But those are like the best highlights. <laughs> that sounds cool. Um, what skills do you think you've gained from the placement year specifically? I think after you come back from placement and not only applying this for when you're looking at jobs after uni, but also in your final year, um, you're very, very, you know, you're much more focused on your time management but also I feel like your interpersonal skills get a lot better. You know, as I mentioned before, I was managing a team of 30 people um, with people all around the, the globe, um, all around the UK in all different kind of parts of function. So I was managing finance people and supply chain people and R&D people, all of which communicate in different ways and were from different countries. Um, and so being able to communicate to those different types of people is really, really valuable when going into the working world, essentially. And I think that's one of the big things that that I learned. The only other thing that I would really, well, the only other thing, one of the main things that I would say that I learned as well um, was the ability to sort of hold myself but also others accountable for things. So there are certain things where at uni, for example, it's very much on yourself. So you've got to hold yourself accountable for deadlines. You've got to say, right, I have want to do this today, this module tomorrow, do some revision on this, apply to that job potentially. Um, whereas on placement, you're holding other people accountable for the work they need to do as well. And I think that's one of the main things that I learned and was fairly specific to the job that I did in the sense that um, you know, I had to really work a lot with lots of different types of people. Cool. So where did you live for your placement year and was this easy to arrange prior? So I'll start off with arranging. <laughs> um, so lots of people are actually very worried about where they're going to live on placement and lots of people actually love Sheffield and I do not blame people for not wanting to move. Um, especially if you've got a house sorted and you've not quite got a placement yet. But the one main thing I would say is, and I'd say this is more tailored towards going to a bigger company, which I was fortunate enough to go to, um, was that they have a very, very large intake of interns each year. So Unilever has over 120 interns each year who work for them just in the UK. There are more outside the UK. Um, but essentially they put you in WhatsApp groups or Facebook groups um, and they hold socials before you actually go on placement, so in the summer before you go on placement, um, for you to get to know the people who, um, or the, in the other interns that potentially be working with, or um, be working at the same site as you, and that's how I arranged um, living situation. So I actually lived in Battersea in London, um, which was one train ride away from the office, which was very convenient, um, but the rents were very, very high, that's the difference of living in London, um, and essentially, um, yeah, lived with four, um, four guys in total, and uh, yeah, had a great time. We all worked at the same company. Um, you know, we, there's a certain amount of, you know, you have to keep work outside of personal life as well. Um, but it's good to be able to have a natter about the project you're working on and, you know, see, oh, what have you learned from this? Um, so yeah, that's how I, how I found living in London. That sounds lovely. How has your experience helped you think about your future career? So 
one of the main things that I worked on, as I said, was um, the strategy. And I really, really enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, I also really, really enjoyed the marketing aspect of it. And I'm very, very much torn at the moment as to where I go with the career path, um, whether it is more of a strategy consulting side or if indeed if it is marketing. The disadvantage of the strategy side and the consulting side is it is very, very competitive. Um, so I'm sort of looking at both, um, but ideally I'd like to merge both of them. So working for a company like Ogilvy or a um, marketing agency that does more of a strategic side. Um, so I think the skills that you learn by actually doing um, are extremely valuable to you. Uh, you can't, in my opinion, you can't really get to know yourself unless you're really doing something. Whether that's through university courses and thinking, oh, I don't really like law or I don't really like the accounting. You wouldn't know if you just read about it, right? Um, so in your placement year, you need to, if you're doing something that you like, or well, even if you're doing something that you don't like, at least you know. And that's the experience that, you know, myself and also lots of the people that I've spoken to from the placement have had. Lovely. So what final piece of advice could you give to me and other first years when applying for placement years? I would say definitely get a CV started early. Um, lots of these companies, especially the larger ones or the ones that are, one, lots of the ones you'll have heard of and are very, very popular, um, start their application cycles in September and are only open for a few weeks. So if you don't have a CV ready or you don't have the interview skills ready uh, or you're not personally developed enough to be able to apply for these placements yet, then you'll be missing out. So I know places like Gymshark, places like Unilever do close fairly early. Um, that's not to say there aren't placements that are open later, and it's the same with graduate jobs. Um, but I would say definitely get your skills ready in first year, use the career service that's there, use your Futures First module that's in first year, and um, yeah, enjoy it. You'll face rejection, um, but overall I would say that it's, it's an amazing experience, and try, try, try as much as you can to get a placement, because it's worth it in the end.